Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Test Chamber. I am Dan Tech, and with me today is Brian Shea. Hello. And today we are playing Salt and Sanctuary. All right. This is a sort of combination of Dark Souls and Castlevania, or so I'm told. Had a chance to check this game out very briefly at PAX Prime this last year, and now we are taking a more in-depth look at a beta build. Wow. Guy okay. already kind of looks like you. <laughs> he definitely does, doesn't he? <laughs> uh, wow. Okay, now he's that's wearing cool. a similar outfit to you today. Uh, this is generally what I wear to work right here. So, yeah, that's pretty close. Uh, let's just go with the standard because we didn't. Well, I don't want to use a shield. I mean, we got to get ready for Bloodborne, right? <laughs> so, uh, this doesn't look like there's any two hander class. We'll go with the knight. Yeah, and that's kind of a nice, basic, kind of generic way to approach it, which is, yeah. I guess, what we should do since we don't know that much about this game. We'll keep it clean. <laughs> so again this isn't anywhere close to like a final build but we're taking a first look at it here pretty standard fare here yeah it looks like things are bad as many games start <laughs> alright looks like I have a couple different kinds of can charge up my attack. It definitely has a, a Castlevania vibe. Oh, you can go two-handed. Oh, there that's you cool. go. Uh, I don't <laughs> think that's a bad guy. No. <laughs> no, he's clearly not. Oh, oh that is, though. <laughs> so. <laughs> wow, that was a, a really gruesome way to start things off. That was an efficient kill, too. Yeah, he wasted did, no time. He did not. How did that transition to the ladder feel? It seemed like it was pretty smooth. Very smooth. Uh -oh. I wonder if there was any way to save those guys, like if you killed them fast enough, or if no matter what, when you got to a certain point, the guy in front of you died. I don't think there's any... Whoa, whoa, what is this? Are you serious? Game just started. Throwing you right in the deep end. <laughs> The unspeakable deep end. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you said you wanted a challenge. No, I did say that, didn't I? I, I take it back. <laughs> Why do I have a feeling this is one of those bosses that like you have Whoa. to die? Yeah, well, he killed he hit me once and I died, so Was that Cthulhu? It looked like it. <laughs> um Yeah, that was Yeah, okay, so That was one of those forced losses. Yeah. Well, maybe. So, you know, again with the Dark Souls inspiration. I bet there's some way you can like you can beat that boss if you're really really good. I don't know. It seemed like he was kind of closing in on you fast, and you had nowhere to go at that uh, at the end there. Maybe there's a way to do it. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> if he had a, he had a health bar and it was going down, so I'm gonna say it was a possibility. Oh gosh, you can roll too. Again, not a bad guy. <laughs> uh, I'm not trying to hit him. Actually, I'm just not. Not. I'm getting used to the controls. Yeah. Uh, do we keep new gods? What do you think? Sure. I say we do. Alright, we'll say yes. Why not? Alright, we got an item. I don't... Candelabra. I can use it with this button, but it doesn't do anything. Try and use it. wonder if it's one of those... Oh, now it's on the, the up on the D-pad. Yeah, I'm just messing up with the controls here. I, <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Uh, whoa, it's moving around. It's R1. I, I was saying R1. Weird. Nothing's happening. It's got to be one of those like specific situation items. Maybe. Kind of like an Ocarina of Time when you bring out the cuckoo and it's like, you can't use this here. Maybe. Maybe it just kind of beeps it out when you try to use it out of context. Oh, a sanctuary key. That's cool. Hence the name, Salt and Sanctuary, huh? All right, so yeah, Salt, I think, is like uh, are pretty much like souls that we're collecting we can do things with. Sanctuary refers to the bonfires, similar to Dark Souls as well. Ah, uh, here we go. Aha! There we go. Ooh, we got three red flask. There we go. 
All right. Wow, oh, this this game really feels smooth. Like seriously, these are awesome. Yeah, it looks smooth. Controls are nice. Once I'm getting the hang of them, anyway. Strange messages and bottles. All right. <laughs> now, right now, it seems like it's pretty linear, but I'm assuming it'll oh, open yeah. up a little bit once we uh, get ah, a little deeper. We'll see. This one might stay linear the whole way through. We're gonna. We'll see, though. I mean, that's why we're playing, right? Absolutely. It's <laughs> uh, a door. Wonder if you need another key. Uh huh. Maybe. Can't get in there. Yeah, that's right. I'm so good. <laughs> yeah. Not like that Cthulhu monster on the boat. Destroy those unarmed beasts. <laughs> hey, they're we found dangerous. some salt. We found some sanctuary. Yeah, there, there's salt all over the place. <laughs> I'm just going to find how to use it. Uh-oh. Well, this doesn't look good at all. Yeah, that's ominous. Oh, the festering banquet. Man, I love the names. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Watching you play as the knight, I'm very curious how the other characters control now. <laughs> I'm sure they're all very cool, you know. I, I just I just play very recklessly as as my reputation, so <laughs> we had to go Zerker mode. Oh, okay. Well, apparently that's a thing. Yeah, it really does look like it controls smooth. It does. Like even fluid. the climbing, like jumping up onto a ledge that's just out of reach and he just kind of pulls himself up. Okay, so I collected some feral beast dice. I don't know what that means. Man, the wildlife is after you. Oh, I didn't think those crows were actually an enemy, so... <laughs> ah! Is that, am I poisoned or something? Is that the bar at the top? It looks... Look, it would appear so. Huh. Yeah, because your health is something. No, your health has been. Ooh, the thief set. No, I don't really like. The, I think I'm gonna stick with my night gear right now, but cool to have. Okay, so you can kind of swap classes on the fly, maybe. Um, I don't know if you can swap. Cl if this is anything like Souls, your starting class is just like a set of gear and stats, hmm. so you can tailor your character to your liking over the course of the game. But I don't know if that's the case here. I don't think we've gotten to the character customization yet. Man, I'm getting some dice. Man. Okay, so... I don't understand. I'm out of the thing. Uh, Very quiet well, right now. I could just jump off the ledge, but something tells me that's dangerous. <laughs> that's not the solution you're looking for, Tack. Are you, are you sure? I don't know. I think that's going to drop you in the front of the castle. All right. All right well, we'll see. Go back down. I don't know, man. I mean, maybe. You played more than I have. I, I this is <laughs> this is new to me. Maybe there's a conveniently placed haystack at the bottom, like Assassin's Creed. Well, there's there's a door up there. I can see it. It doesn't look like we have it activated. Something tells me leap of faith might be the wrong answer. I don't know. <laughs> We will explore a little bit more before doing anything so drastic. Yeah, because see, I think you just fall right there if yeah, you jumped I'd, off the I'd top. Yeah, I'd fall and, and die horribly. So, you know, that's we're, we're trying to avoid that. Have you gone? Okay. Well, I think we're going the right way now. Oh, we're going a way now. We're going a different way. Yeah. <laughs> Am I learning words? Is that what's going on when I open these bottles? I'm, I'm not quite sure. I don't know. But it's cool, all the same. Oh, here we go. Here's a red shard and a stone blacksmith. I have no idea what those are, but they're probably good. I, was a can I thought I could interact with it since you know, we've got the candelabra theme going. Oh, oh, I think we went the right way. No, we didn't because I didn't save or anything. There's got to be like a bonfire before this guy should have used the candelabra. Oh, man. Now I have to win or do it all again. Come on, Tack. Oh, oh, okay. That's more powerful than your attack. I don't know. I don't know what the block command is. This is a problem. <laughs> Can you use any of your items? I, I just, I just healed with a flask. Oh, items, yeah. Oh. Okay. What are these bottles? That's okay. I got grenades, son. 
I don't care if you're a knight. I got grenades. Okay, it's working. Oh yeah, the grenades. Grenades tend to tend to think, do it. That's right. Oh yeah. <laughs> we totally, may have spammed our way through that, but to total pwned. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm so good at this game, you guys. <laughs> now that's what? cool. That was really cool. I like the like the boss introduction and everything. Yeah, now what is I'm question. so good at this game. Now what? <laughs> right, so we killed the boss. He's gone. Is that a... No? It's just the way it juts out? Hmm. I yearn for flame. Despair here. Not hurting, are you? Strange object. I wonder if those are like spells you can cast at some point. Uh, the bottles? No, I think those are... I have no idea what those would be. I don't know what we just did. We'll go right there, yeah. Nope, nothing um, there. We're going to backtrack real quick to... Yeah, now that you killed that boss, right. maybe that area opened up. It's possible. It's worth taking a look at. Uh-huh. You see, if we jump off the thing, we can get to that area that's... I don't know. It's probably... I don't know if you take fall damage in this game. I don't want to risk it. <laughs> Yeah, maybe find a bonfire before that. Uh. Nope, didn't oh. open anything. Great. <laughs> All right. Huh. I have a feeling we're just we're just really bad and have no idea what we're doing. Probably. I mean, that's, that's the explanation case. I give myself for almost every game. It's part part of the learning experience here. Wait, have you been over there? No. But I mean, it's just a. Yeah. We never know what those things are going to contain. That's true. What in the? Ooh, is that oh, an I AI could... companion? Yeah, I probably could have used him to like kill the boss or something. I don't know. And now he's gone forever. Yeah, where did he go? <laughs> the journey bottle. I do. Abandon all your hope. All right. Well, if you say so. Bell of Return. I think you can guess what yeah. that does. Two entrances here. I already killed the boss, though. Don't you think like something should open? I mean, no. That's so. There's a lever on the other side of that. We, gate, we've been here like. though. Like this is, ugh. this is like where we came in. I feel like we whizzed through this a little quick. Maybe there's yeah. other stuff we missed. Perhaps. Yeah. Screw that bookcase. Okay, so I guess if you fall, now you can climb up that ladder. No. Nah, well, we're back at the entrance. I don't know. <laughs> nah, this is probably just me being bad, so, you know, no worries. Uh -huh, okay, yeah. so we found the leveling system. This is familiar. Okay. I say yes. So maybe this is more class-based. Doesn't look like we can put stuff in any stats. Wait, there's a tree of skill. Yeah, Which we're gonna check that out. We're gonna check that out. Just seems second. like a skill tree of some sort. Yeah, it is. It definitely is. Wow. Is there a way to pan over to see how big this thing is? Uh, wow. I don't know if we can zoom out. That seems pretty in-depth. It's certainly large. <laughs> but these are like... I think these... Yeah, so... Wow. Okay, that's lots of stuff. Wow. That's intimidating. Yep, so as a knight, we started with, you know, armor and swords. Makes sense. Okay, so it's kind of... It looks like you can customize them any way you want with, within, like, you know, the branching reason of this tree. Yes. So if you kind of wanted to take a path of a mage, I would assume there's somewhere there's a, a predetermined mage path that you could kind of branch over to at some point. Yep, it seems like it makes sense. Very cool. Let's make offering. Uh, we could. I said you can. We can add gold and salt drops to the area with those statues that we found. Huh. You were just leveling up like crazy. Now I'm gonna spend some of that salt, <laughs> or we lose it. Watch the max level will be like ten. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's the case. 
you know, with a tree like this, I doubt that. All right, well, let's see if we can actually make some more progress as we fumble about. Pain ahead. I wonder if we're just like missing like the ability to port somewhere else now that we've killed that boss. I don't know. I don't know. If, if this seems like the game that would really like make it that obvious to, that a change has occurred that you opened a boss. Like it's not like going back to Zelda. It's not like you kill the boss and suddenly the door opens and goes do 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 do. No, I think we're I think we're in good shape. It's just like I think we have to get over to the other side, pull a lever, unlock the shortcut, something of that nature. Ah, uh, the crows. Poison crows. <laughs> it's my least favorite kind of crows. So it looks like these red potions act completely like an Estus flask. So they refill when we went to the campfire. Oh, nice. So. Oh. This looks promising. This is the campfire we should have found before the boss. So it's not really promising. <laughs> so you can't level up at this one, but got some grungy guitar riff in the background. Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, I don't know why I'm going back up here. Freeing souls, it looks like. Yeah. Some dude. <laughs> and the potions, re the little like word things respond. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think we should jump off there. Yeah, that seems like a bad idea. I'm just getting my health back since I took that fall. Let's try going all the way down. <laughs> yep, so here's the shortcut. Okay, so that's good. And this looks like the way out. All right. We finally got We did good. it. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> uh, why not? I think we do have a quest. We always have a quest. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Humorous. Oh, he's got to kill the dragon. All right. Nice to meet you, too. All right, then. Oh, that was interesting. That was of no consequence. Uh, it was It was very important. We, we oh, Black purple. We have no idea what those do. Getting really... These bottles, man. There's a lot of these bottles. <laughs> ah, pitchfork. And a pouch of salt. And we can go down here, huh? Another one of these obelisk things. I don't know what... Oh, come oh on. no, it doesn't pause when you open <laughs> the bottle. So wait, is attack the same button as interact? No. Okay, I was going to say that would be kind of a weird design. No, no, the controls feel, feel great, actually, once you get the hang of them. Seems like your poison meter is empty, but it's kind of sticking up. Okay, there it is, never mind. I think maybe it has to full to get really bad, just like in Dark Souls, where you go toxic. Oh. oh, by the time you pulled yourself up, it already fell. Yeah, that's how they get you. <laughs> um. oh. Okay, so we found the merchant. So these cost gold, and he's got... A lock of hair. For weapons, transmuting weapons on the blacksmith, and... No idea what that Man, does. Man, how would you transport an endless fang? Bolts, torches. Beggar's gear, which of course we don't need because it's garbage. All right, well. <laughs> maybe torches then. Uh, maybe a torch would be good. Gauging. Oh, 50. Oh. We'll take a couple of those. Yeah, what a steal. Mm-hmm. 
Hmm, we can't. Now, uh, how do you equip it? Yeah, exactly. I wonder if it's one of those auto equip weapons, like yeah. when it gets. Oh. <laughs> there are shortcuts <laughs> Just everywhere. Just when we thought we were so, gonna. <laughs> it's definitely got that interconnected world feel going on. Uh, okay, so <laughs> maybe not an auto equip weapon. Well, oh, there you go. First okay, death. we didn't know that happened. Obliterated. Obliter nice. I like it. It's very. Look, it's like very sophisticated. It's like, yeah, you totally got <laughs> destroyed. See the revive scene here. Some ghoulish figure dragged you to uh, the last place that you right, lit a candle. To the last bonfire, yeah. And you can see our salt is shows up like the direction it is anyway. Oh, that's cool. To recover it. I like that. A reminder. Although I'm not really sure we should be going back down there. That was like without our torch anyway. We couldn't even see the floor falling out from under us. Oh, there, there it is. is. <laughs> now that I we're in the broad daylight. Right. <laughs> okay. So I guess we'll probably buy some more torches from that guy. Yeah, probably. We can afford a few. Ooh. It doesn't take our gold when we die, so yeah. Would have been nice to see down there, you know, it's a bonus. So you being an avid Dark Souls fan. Yes. How do you like see the inspiration being used in this game? Very, very clearly. <laughs> Like, uh, you definitely see the influence here, but it's very interesting to take that sort of Dark Souls style and translate it to this sort of, you know, platformy 2D kind of thing. Uh, and, you know, based on our extensive play playing here, I think it translates well. <laughs> well, it's interesting to see what genres and what concepts translate to, like, the 2D platforming style. Like, uh, Mark of the Ninja was a really interesting one, where they took stealth and made it a 2D platformer. Oh, God. Uh-oh. <laughs> These torches do not last long. Uh, I couldn't select my potion. Man, I am super bad. The controls are taking a little bit used to for me, but... Yeah, it's pretty sweet, actually. Wonder if there's a closer uh, fire that you can save at. Uh, probably after that guy, you know. <laughs> they they want me to learn how to get good. Is the thing here? That's the they're trying to teach me to be better. As I just run into everything. <laughs> Trying to teach you. My potion just keeps deselecting. I'm trying to like. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna need these. Probably, you know, it's possible I shouldn't even be down here. Yeah, this could be a very high level area. <laughs> now we're dark. Or souls. We just run for yeah, your life. We just dark souls him really hard. Like. <laughs> oh no, he's following you. <laughs> yeah, that's that good. Maybe we didn't dark souls him very hard. Oh, there's all kinds of birds, or bats, or whatever those are. They look like bats. Whatever they are, they're nasty. Oh no, he follows you outside. He's following me. Oh, what oh is, no, what? 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 I don't even know what him. <laughs> His booby trap. All right, so I guess the key is you kind of have to kill him. Um, <laughs> there's no cheesing running away from him. That was a total spelunky moment there. Uh, yeah, we got to the next area, and then all of a sudden things went really wrong, really fast. <laughs> Wow, that was rough. The mountain persists. The tree glows. So, are those? Do you notice that it was saying like things like the mountain persists and the tree glows in the lower yeah. left-hand corner? And there was a like a timestamp. It looked like oh, <laughs> well, it's trying to teach you to get oh better. Oh my at god. The game. <laughs> oh, okay, this just got embarrassing actually. <laughs> Uh, so I guess fall damage does play a factor in yeah. this game. Well, I thought I could just, you know, I'd just drink a pot and it'd be fine, but... You got a little cocky there, Tack. It wasn't cocky. I was just brushed to get back to the area, you know? And now, of course, I've lost a ton of salt because uh, I've died multiple times and my corpses, you know, cannot be recovered anymore. What? what this the guy still here? Okay. This thing should not be here. The dude's bat, you know, it's still chilling. So where, oh, did you recover your salt? No. 
Well, we didn't have anything. On that corpse, there was like nothing anyway. I guess. Flying creatures. I hate them. The yeah, see how it persists. says the mountain persists 55M. Is that like minutes? I have no idea. Tree glows 45M. Are these hints? Wait, I, I don't have any clue what these things are. This guy has lobster claws, or are they scythes? They are scythe claw lobsters. I hate this guy. <laughs> You have no idea if you're doing like sufficient damage to him or significant right. damage. No idea whatsoever. I say we just make this a fight to the death. It will be. Yes. Oh, he was really weak. I should have killed. Oh. You tried running from that guy. I know he seemed really strong. I don't know. We had that reach advantage. Yeah, it's. Oh, that seems like a... okay. That collapses. But what's up there? Well, we know the zone. The other zone is down there. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we found a shortcut. Do we go to this door or down there? Well, the last time you oh, went down... Oh, look at this. This, oh, this we, takes us back here. We Perfect. did it. <laughs> we did do it. Full circle. Do we have any more ability to level up? Uh, we didn't have any... We lost all of our salt, remember? Oh, yeah. So, no. <laughs> Luckily, it looks like the enemies respawn con you know, constantly in this game, so... It's not going to be a barrier. You can always go farm some critters to get salt if you really need to level up. But generally leveling up in these games is like a side thing, it's not essential. I'll watch out for the trap. I don't see it. Oh, this little... There okay. it is up there. No, there's a tripwire, see? You can barely oh, see it. Yeah. I thought that was just like a weed. And it's definitely like, there. it's there to, it's designed for the people. Oh, <laughs> no. It's okay, we just saved. It's okay, we just saved. And that was really sloppy, but we just saved. <laughs> God. All right, all right, we get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no way to skip that animation. We get it. I'm bad. Oh, I skipped it. I mean, okay. I... Ugh. <laughs> now the mountain persists at 40, 53 minutes. I don't even Is know that what a that countdown. Means. It's got to be a countdown because they keep lowering by one, seemingly every minute. The mountain, it's persisting. <laughs> the tree, something. Maybe we can make these guys trigger it. We're gonna we're gonna test. We're doing some testing. <laughs> Didn't seem like it did a whole lot of oh damage. Oh god! Wow, that that night hits hard. Is this like the Wraith King? <laughs> <laughs> well, he is glowing magnificently. Yep. Wow, that's half. That's a half a health bar. What was that? Wait, I don't know. It looks like maybe yeah. like a finishing attack. No, I could interact with him after I got him down. So we don't know what that means, but we're going to try it again. Uh-oh. <laughs> I, I do stress the word try. Potion that. These are different kind of potions. Yeah, that's a very slow... Right. Now the are... mountain persists at 52 minutes. I think this guy's actually unkillable. Unless you interact with him when he's on the ground. I'm telling you, that's the killing blow. Oh no! <laughs> I don't. He's got the high ground, much like Obi Wan All in right. Episode Three. <laughs> so we're terrible, <laughs> or I'm terrible rather. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, this is only our first look at this game, but man, it, it feels great. Uh, controls are really crisp and smooth. Doesn't I, do you any I favors. Love the settings. Oh no, no, I don't expect. You know, I'm just being bad. That's, uh, <laughs> I thought you were an expert at these kind of games. This is 2D, man. I'm not used to this. <laughs> this is a platformer. And actually, it feels great, like, what they've taken from from Souls and combined it with some Castlevania aspects. It really does feel good. Tripwire. Yeah. I, I, I Trying got, to remind you. <laughs> yeah, I, I know it's there. And so is this Wraith thing that we can't kill. We're, we're actually just going to avoid him. No, it looks like we're going down into Blight Town here. Uh oh.
Oh. Yeah, so those are booby trapped too, it looks like. Yeah. Another Wraith King dude. And yeah, we're gonna. He's not glowing though, so. Yeah, he's not glowing, but. I wonder if that means he's mortal. A ring. A fused metal ring. Where do we go from here? This doesn't look good. <laughs> <laughs> Can you, uh, I'm assuming you can't reach that platform to so your this left. Is one of, I think this is one of those situations where you either have to hit the return bell or die. Oh no, they came back. Okay. So these falling platforms respawn. That's good to know. A bundle of salt. Um, yeah, some bells. A trap. Did we go up that ladder? I That's where we, we came. We came from that way. I have no idea what just said. I don't know what's going on. Come on, Tack. You let the scarecrow thing down. Um, the scarecrow looks like a real corpse. <laughs> yeah. It looks like they took an actual dead guy and put him up like a scarecrow. I think that's actually what happened. Which, I mean, it would scare me if I was going to a village I had no idea about. Oh, the blacksmith. Interesting. Okay. You can upgrade your weapon, too. We'll get like. new ones. Weapons are pretty reasonable here. We need... Okay, so class 2 armor. We need to upgrade it. We could buy class 2 armor now if we had the... If we had taken that skill at the bonfire. Hmm. So, we might want to do that. I thought we had a lock of hair. It says we don't have it anymore. Do you lose your items when you die, too? Like, some of them? I don't... Oh, no, we didn't buy one. The, the oh, that's right. Yeah, it was, it was an option to buy. Oh. Okay. Well, that's convenient. Let's see if we can get... Uh, well, we have to... Can we level? Barely. Yeah. Class 2 armor. A lot of tree references in this game. Yeah. Okay, we can't get it because we don't have the black pearls, I guess. Oh. No, we do. We have six. I don't know why we can't take it. Because I, I don't think you have the one that links to it. Yep. We do now, though. Okay. I thought I'd taken it. What's, no, like we the, have, we what's the highest of... one you can get here? We, we're, we're done now. We spent all of our pearls. <laughs> uh, now we can use class two armor. Oh yeah. Can you afford class two? Okay, we can afford so. one. We can afford one piece. Since we don't have a helmet yet, this is the piece we're gonna get. Now, does it change your character visually? Uh, it should, right? I would think I so. Know. How do we get to our equipment loadout? Yeah, here we go. We also collected some rings that we should probably equip. <laughs> Increase your endurance. Reduces wounding. Alright, man. Lots of good stuff we just left behind here. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Alright, yeah. Alright. Now we're a real adventurer. <laughs> Freeing souls left and right. Now they're not. I don't know if they've explicitly been called souls. <laughs> <laughs> Mountain persists. It still persists. Glows. Yeah, we're still 36 minutes off from the tree glowing. And we're in a new zone here, it looks like. And I don't think we completed the last one. That's okay. Oh, whoa. Curry. All right. Guy's freaking out. Can't use. Why can't we use it? I really want to use that sword. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever skills I need to take to use that sword, I mean, we need to get that. That's my style. That's your... <laughs> your new game plan yeah oh 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 no <laughs> this is not part of my just new going game plan. south very quickly stone leader I like oh, the way you think, Tack. Swing first and ask questions later. Yeah, you always you gotta get in there. And okay, so we've seen this is like a shortcut to the 
We've been here. We're gonna try going this way. Ooh, the watching woods. What are we watching? Crows, apparently. I think they look like bats. You know what? Those are bats, and I've been calling crows the whole time, and nobody corrected me. <laughs> it makes sense that they'd be bats, though. I mean, they poison you. <laughs> We're not going to talk about what just happened. Why, why would the crows poison you? I, that's a good question. Why would a bat poison me? I don't know. Are bats poisonous? Some of them. <laughs> I know zoo bats are from Pokemon. We're not dealing with zoo bats here. Might be. We are not dealing with zoo bats. That would be a hell of a reveal. At the end, you realized you were in the Pokemon world. It was all world. Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> that would definitely be a thing. You have to fight Gary Oak. Oh my god, it's a blob thing. Oh, this does not look good. Blob things are. You don't fight blob things. Not without a mage. That's right. Oh, the blob came in here. Oh, oh okay. no! All right, we got we got some serious problems now. <laughs> that guy does not look like a friend. Uh oh. Oh. Okay. Uh -oh. <laughs> right, we got this. <laughs> oh, that was luck. There's this. Seems like every so often the climbing or climbing down animation gets a little off of the ladder. Well, you can like jump, get on the ladder mid-jump, so it's convenient. Where's... Oh, yeah, that's cool. These trees are glowing. This is obviously some quest area we'll have to deal with. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't. It looks like we're gonna have to go back to the bad place. Come on, Tack. Take him on one on one. Uh, I don't have any more grenades. I need to get some more grenades. <laughs> okay. So I can't just like jump through him either. He's got, you know, collision detection. He's got. <laughs> so does the blob. Wait. Oh, okay. So that was a pouch of salt. Didn't know that. So I have extra extra salt that I can use when I when I need it. <laughs> Stupid blobs. Oh, the blobs! Oh, are they're nothing. easily wow. killed. Yeah, we gave Man, them, we, we assumed we way, way too much. much. Yeah, we, we thought that it. lobster ghost was going to be impossible. Yeah, it's true. I think we need to take more risks, Dan. I think we've been taking a lot of risks. <laughs> you think I can go off here? Uh, no. I think you need to climb up and then walk over on the branches. I thought we needed to take more risks. I don't think risks and stupid decisions are the same thing. I thought they were the same thing. Oh, it almost, <sighs> it almost forced your hand doing that almost. anyway. I almost explored that area inadvertently. All right, we're not going to talk about this. Oh. <laughs> now I'm just now I'm just like this is a lot of jumping. It's hard to tell where like these platforms begin and end. Like they tried to like do a good job like by highlighting it with the white stuff, but these are gonna fall. Yes, they are. Just run. We are. We're going. Go. We're going. We're going. All right. Where's my save point? Oh boy. A sunken keep. That's not ominous. <laughs> Ouch. That was a bit of a drop. Yeah. Where can I go in there? The mountain. The mountain. Uh, what? 41 minutes. I don't... This Doesn't this thing mean there's a boss? We haven't had a chance to save. And I don't have any grenades. I'm going to die here. I don't even have any Estus Flask. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> Bacon <laughs> Cyclops. <laughs> he does not look easy either. Come on, throw that candelabra at him. Uh... <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I like that the blade of his axe is as big as you. Right. And yet somehow you blocked it. Right. Because I had a full stand bar. 
<laughs> this is gonna take a while. Uh, no, it's not. I guess he, he depleted my stam real quick. And I can't get through him. Alright, well. I think with that, we will end this test chamber and our first look at Salt and Sanctuary. I had a great time playing. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting into this game more. I have no idea how far out we are from release. Again, this was a sort of a beta build. Uh, thanks for joining us on Test Chamber.